So, I mean, for you, what was this wait like? Yeah, no, it was, you know, very much anticipated. Um, you know, sitting there obviously last night and kind of not expecting, you know, um, where I was going to go. Um, and then obviously only seeing Kenny get picked up, um, you know, kind of had me, you know, kind of, you know, okay, like we're going to go tomorrow. Like, you know, we're going to go tomorrow, early tomorrow too. Um, so, you know, we get to the second round and we're sitting there waiting and we're waiting and then we're waiting and we don't get anything. You know, I, I finally text Malik. I'm like, I text Malik Willis. I'm like, man, what's going on? Like, they don't like us or what? Um, and he, he would just he was just like, you know, like, let's just sit and wait, be patient. God's going to do his thing. Um, and, but, you know, I, it, it was just a lot. But, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be a Falcon and I'm excited to get down there and work. So what what was your rea- interactions like with Arthur Smith, with Terry Fontenot during this process? Yeah. Um, so obviously, um, you know, I think they were down there at the senior bowl, but then they came up for pro day, had a meeting, um, basically brought the whole staff with them um, and had a good about an hour and a half, two hour meeting where some of it was broken up into film and others was broken up into conversations. And, uh, you know, I think the interactions between the both of us and, and Coach Ragone uh, and Mr. Terry, you know, they all went really well. Um, but, you know, I think we really hit it off there at Cincinnati at Pro Day. Um, and, and, you know, they said that they didn't even need me down for a 30 visit, that they had all they need. Um, and, you know, I'll put my best foot forward, and that's what they're going to get from here on out. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, up next we'll go to Cincinnati grad, D. Orlando Ledbetter. UC Law Class of 90. Um, Desmond, could you discuss your uh, uh, early recruitment by Coach Zach Taylor and how, um, you know, uh, you know that led you to go to Cincinnati coming out of Louisville, St. Xavier there? Yes. So um, I think it was early on uh, after my junior season, I started to throw and work out for coaches. And uh, Coach Rollins um, was the wide receivers coach at the time, now at, I think, Southern Illinois University. Um, came down to watch me throwing it about a week later, two weeks later. Um, you know, he brought down Coach uh, Zach Taylor. And, um, you know, he, he brought him down about a week later. And then, you know, I worked out for him, had a good workout. Um, and then we had already gone on visits as far as my family and um, Coach Taylor and been up to Cincinnati, been up there with camps. Um, and then about three hours after that workout on that Friday um, afternoon in early May, um, you know, Coach Tuberville and Coach Taylor extended the offer out to me. But, you know, my relationship that I grew with took Coach Taylor was uh, really good within those um, six months that he recruited me. Um, so, you know, I'm just blessed to know him and blessed to be connected with him. Yeah, and what did you learn over the last couple of years, you know, watching Joe? Well, he was hurt most of the first year, but then watching them uh, lead them to the Super Bowl. I know the programs are tight and, you know, they even come up to, to campus to practice. Yeah. Just patience and stick together. Um, you know, that was a team where, you know, there were a lot of questions on, on both sides of the ball. And, and you know, if Joe's going to get it done or if he's going to have enough time to get it out. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, they just stuck together. Um, they have patience. You know, they, they, they waited on their time and took advantage of every opportunity they got. Um, and so, you know, I think they did a really good job with that. Obviously, they're led by uh, Joe, who's a great quarterback and a great leader. And then, obviously, as we just said, Coach Zach Taylor, um, you know, he, he's done a great job of, of leading that team, obviously now to a Super Bowl. Um, and, you know, I, I think they're going to do good things. All right, we'll go to Josh Kendall with The Athletic. Hi, Des. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I, I'm interested in a, a, the short version of what the process is like when you sit down with Arthur Smith and start talking about his offense and how he explains it to you and asks you to explain it back to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically how that goes is, um, like I said, during that hour, two-hour meeting that we had right there at Pro Day, um, it's going over an install. Um, and, you know, it's just like their base will say OTA one install. Um, so maybe it's a, a couple protections, a couple plays, a couple run plays, a couple pass plays, um, and a couple formations. And, and so, um, you know, I would we'd go through that for about 30 minutes, and then we might throw on some of my film from Cincinnati and have myself talk through that. Um, my reads, my protection changes, my adjustments. Um, and, and then we'll come back to that and he'll kind of quiz me on it. Um, and, you know, like I said, during that meeting, I felt like I did really well. I put my best foot forward. Um, but, you know, that was something for me as far as that side of the game, the mental side of the game, um, that I'm not going to say comes easy, but um, it, it's something that I love to do. It's something that I love to study. And, and so it makes it easy for me. What do you think in those initial impressions of his offense? Yeah, I thought it was something that, you know, I fit really well into. 
Um, and then obviously at that time, I think they had just picked up Marcus Mariota, um, who, you know, as a lot of people know, I compare myself to and a lot of people compare myself to. Um, so I'm really excited to, to be there and get there with him. Um, obviously a great quarterback at the college level and then obviously a successful quarterback um, at the NFL level. So I'm just excited to get down there and work and, and better the team in any way possible. Go to Charles Odom with the Associated Press. And I'll follow up with what you said about uh, Marcus. Um, um, tell me what uh, what you see in Marcus that you see in your own, in your own game. Yeah, just as far as our athletic abilities, our leadership, um, our ability to extend plays, um, and then be smart with the ball once we do extend plays. I, I think that's something we do really well. Um, being able to use our legs to get outside the pocket um, and making a, a efficient throw. Um, not not doing anything dumb with the ball and, and being able to protect yourself for, you know, as this game is, is for longevity. So I think, you know, the both of us do a really good job of that. Um, and so, like I said, I'm excited to get down there to learn from someone who's been in the game for a long time, uh, who's won a lot of games at, at the highest level. And, so, uh, you know, I'm excited. It, um, you said uh, you, your contact with the Falcons uh, there on the pro day came about the same time the Falcons signed Mariota. Did that um, – only make you more encouraged about the prospects of Atlanta being your, your landing spot? No, 100%. Um, like I said, him being my comp, you know, I, I didn't want to, like, put words into anyone's mouth, but I'm like, man, like, you know, if, if they're going to get him, like, why not get a younger guy, you know, just like him? Um, and that's, you know, obviously myself. And so when they picked him up, um, that got me really excited uh, for, for Atlanta. And then, uh, like I said, I think that was right before um, we were known that we were meeting with them for pro day. Um, then we met with them for pro day and, you know, like the offense, like the staff, the, the GM and everyone. Um, and so, you know, I just thought it was a perfect fit. We'll go to Cody Chaffins with Fox 5. Desmond, obviously you've played in Mercedes-Benz before. Tell me about that trip to Atlanta and uh, what you remember about that. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously that trip to Atlanta obviously could have ended a lot better. Um, but no, being down in their city, it was a, a wonderful city. I've been down there multiple times. Um, but to, but just walking into the stadium, uh, you know, that was the biggest thing that, you know, biggest game I'd ever played in before in my life. Um, and just seeing those lights, just being in that stadium, it was uh, just surreal. And, you know, we just had to go in there kind of a day or two before and just kind of, you know, look around and take a deep breath and say, you know, we made it. Uh, we made it to that New Year's Six. But uh, what I remember from that is just a, a great city, a, a great atmosphere, a great arena, um, and a place where I know that fans are going to go crazy at. You did lose in that game, but you didn't lose a lot at Cincinnati. What what about that attitude will you bring to the Falcons that, that you just kind of expect to win? Yeah, everything about that. Um, that's just who I am as a person. So uh, I feel like guys are going to see that right off the bat from, from rookie minicamp and on to you know, my, the end of my career is that I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. So um, whatever that may be, however many hours it is, how, whatever I have to sacrifice, uh, guys are going to see that and guys are going to feel that. And, you know, my job is to bring other people along with me to, to make everyone else great. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do. I want to be that leader, um, be able to go down there to, to step in and play whatever role I need to, um, to be to, to go down there and make sure that everyone knows, you know, what the goal is at the end of the day, and that's to win every single game. Whether that's by one point, whether that's by 40 points, let's go out there and win. Allison Mastrangelo, WSB. Hey, Desmond, welcome to Atlanta. I was curious, you know, you're talking about Marcus Mariota, you know, in, in the Falcons signing him, but what was kind of the message to you with Arthur Smith? Are you coming in to compete with Marcus Mariota, learn behind him? Kind of what's the goal for you? Yeah, um, I'm going to go in there and, and, and do whatever it takes, to, you know, whatever they need me to do. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a team player at the end of the day. I'm not an individual person. Um, I'm a, I'm a t person who puts the team first. And um, so whether that, that's me going down there to start, me going down there to, to sit behind Marcus to learn, or whether we go down there and we split reps, whatever it may be. Um, like I said at the beginning of this interview, I'm excited to get down there and to be a sponge, to learn so much new football, like so many new concepts. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm just a student of the game and I'm excited and, I, and I, I'm excited to be in Atlanta. I can't express that enough. And yeah, I know you've got a lot of football to play, but what do you just hope to accomplish in your rookie season with the Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, like I just said, to, to be a sponge, to really, you know, take my football knowledge, my football IQ to, to the next level um, and to truly become a pro. Um, obviously, I, I just became a pro from 
uh, you know, the draft standpoint, but um, as far as on the field, you know, take care of your body and everything that goes into being a pro, um, that's just, you know, what I want to do and, and have others see that as well, um, that obviously I'm trying to be the best version of myself I can be.